So I have this Logitech MX Anywhere laptop mouse, and it has one slight problem. The bottom cover that we have here has broken. There's a metal clasp here, which holds in the bottom cover, and the bottom cover has lost the little nib that handles keeping it inside. So we're going to have to ground this part down a little bit and then attach a new one there. So we'll go to Fusion 360 to model it and then we'll print it out and attach it. So this is going to be a quick one since there's not much to model. I measured the parts of the mouse and did some searching on the internet and found what the latch looked like previously. And based on that, I came to these dimensions. So first we just extrude out the basic form. This is a lot longer than what is strictly necessary so that we can have more area that can be glued on to the bottom cover. And then we just added a little notch that will grab onto the metal part and keep the lid closed. And I added a chamfer so that it goes in easier. The original part that I, my, my prototype that I made, this part was a little bit too tall, so it didn't fit. And I'll show you that next. So here is the printed version. And this is the first prototype and it didn't fit. And as we can see, it is quite tall. So I had to ground down both the notch and the bottom part, the base of it, so that I could get it to fit. And this is that prototype. So I ground down the notch and I ground down the base plate and I was able to get it to fit. Then I measured the size of that part and I got the final version which you, which you just saw in Fusion 360. And as we can see, it's a quite a bit smaller than the original ones. Uh, this has been printed in 0.2 millimeter layer heights. And next we'll be gluing this into the cover. But before we can get to the gluing part, we have to remove the old latch, or what remains of it. Which I'm going to do by using some sandpaper on it. Now that the old latch has been removed and the edge has been cleaned, we'll then push the new latch into the mouse body and then put a little dab of glue on it and then press the casing on it and tape it together. This way we'll make sure that the latch is in the correct position and it's not too deep and not too shallow. Now that the glue is in place, we just have to wait. And here we have the finished product all taped up. So we'll go ahead and remove the tape and see whether I glued the chassis and the cover together or whether the fix worked nicely. And as we can see, the cover comes off nicely and it seems that the glue also stick together nicely. Now it's very hard to see, but it seems that that little teeny tiny bit of glue managed to seep into every place. So when you're using cyanoacrylate glue, also known as super glue, uh, be careful with the amount that you use. More is not better when it comes to this. But this one particular one has worked very, very well. So we'll just test it again. We'll put it back in and test pulling it out, whether we would accidentally manage to take off the battery cover. It's a bit hard to push in, but once it's in, it doesn't seem to come out accidentally. I'm pretty pleased with this and 
I'll, as always, share the files in the video description. I hope this has been helpful, and if you liked it, please click like.